<clears throat> Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly video. And I got some stuff to show you, right? That's what we do. All right, so um, let's just start off with I had one night of hunting, and it was a success, which was awesome. Um, I stopped at a Walmart. Um, I scored uh, the new Johnny Lightning Street Freaks case, uh, 2018 release one. I ended up picking up two. I'm just going to show you one because I already showed that van. So I got the uh, boogie van from that case. I got an extra one of those, uh, 76, 70 G20. And then I got finally got the uh, B release of the CRX. So pretty awesome to grab this. Um, this one, I'm not sure if the base is on correctly. I've seen a lot of photos of this car where the back looks a little bit... Uh, weird and I'll um, we're gonna open this up of course in the second half of the video I've got the red one too obviously because I've shown that in a previous video but we'll go ahead and take a look at um, both of those and I'll show you what I'm talking about with the base I mean I could be totally wrong once I get it out of the package but um, I think there's a slight issue with the way the base has been spun on and in a lot of photographs of this car in the package it appears that there's something up with the base so stay tuned for that. We're going to take a look at that. Um, I also, they also stocked at that same Walmart that same night, uh, 2018 release one of Auto World. And I picked up the black Dodge Dart Swinger. I picked up an extra one of those just to have an extra. And then I also grabbed this guy. This is an Ultra Red Corvette Z06. Um, I already have it. I've already got one. I've got it loose. So I'm not going to be opening this in the second half of the video. Um, this is possibly going to be up for trade. But I got to tell you, the only thing I'm probably going to trade this for is an Ultra Red that I do not have. So some Auto World collector that's got an extra auto uh, Ultra Red that I need. Uh, possibly uh, Hot Wheels Hunter, uh, Martin. Maybe you have something or maybe you need this one. I don't know if you do or not. I should probably just message you directly and find out because um, you're probably going to be the go-to guy. But really cool to uh, to have found that in the wild. Anyway, um, I mean, if I don't find a trade for it, I might just keep it. I don't mind having extra Auto World stuff. So I've got, believe me, I've got a vault of the stuff. So there's that. And then I went over to Meyer, which Meyer recently opened in my area. And I did score... I did score a green machine the first time I went to Meyer when they opened. This will be the second time I went to Meyer and the second green machine scored. So here this is. Um, you got this flatbed truck. Um, it is what? BF Goodrich sponsorship. It's the International Durastar, Durastar BF Goodrich flatbed and repairman figure green machine. Um, is there a number that you can see in the bottom of this? Yeah, it's number 3969, and the number is actually on the flatbed of the truck, not on the base. The base is green, and the wheels are green. I'll buzz this by the camera close up in the second half of the video, but I am probably not going to keep this in the collection. This will probably end up being traded if someone's interested in a green machine um, flatbed truck. So there's that. And then um, the only other thing... I acquired on my own. This was an eBay purchase. I ended up getting two of these. One of these is for my good buddy Travis at Heaven Metal 164. I'm trading him one of these and I I purposely got it to trade him. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy one for myself because the seller had more than one. And this is Ertl Vintage American Muscle for Mustang Mach 1, 69 Ford Mustang Mach 1. I actually showed this casting in a cream color in last week's video and we compared some mustangs and then i got this one in black and the shipping happened so fast it was great i got it right away and these pack this packaging is crispy these came out um like year 2000 so these are 18 years old these are graduating from high school this year and uh this packaging looks absolutely brand new so the listing said new old stock so i'm guessing these were pulled just right out of a case um but absolutely fantastic so 
we're going to open up obviously just one of these and the other one's going to be sent over to Travis and he'll probably feature it on his channel too but it's just a cool little casting it's awesome looking in black so I can't wait to get that one open and show it to you guys all right so there's that um then the rest of this stuff I got from my buddy Shuresh um who found it at his local stores and hooked me and both me and crazy Todd up with some mainline vehicles some uh, matchbox and some hot wheels so this is from the latest matchbox case um you've got the 75 chevy stepside the hummer the volkswagen gulf country and a mercedes-benz gle coupe right there and we'll be opening up all of these in the second half of the video per usual and then uh, Matchbox uh, Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. So there's that. Jurassic Park. We're going to open up that. Pretty cool. Picked up that for me. Um, and then some Hot Wheels. He, was, he did stumble across a K-Case Zamac bin. Um, so these are the Zamacs in here. The Corvette, the Firebird, and the Oval. In the oval with golf Zamax. So, of course, we're going to open up those. And um, he was able to find one super in that bin, but here's the regular. And I, this is a super, let me tell you, this is a super treasure hunt. I really want, um, definitely want this super. So, if anybody finds an extra and wants to trade it, give me a shot at it. I don't know what I'm going to have to trade for it, but. I really hope that I find it. This is a Lamborghini Aventador Miura Homage. So, really, really cool. Very, very awesome mainline car. The Super is fantastic, too, so I can't wait to look at it. And then speaking of Lamborghini, definitely excited about this coming out, this Lamborghini Countach pace car. Um, so we'll take a look at that in the second half of the video and then I'll, I'll pull out the two other Countach castings that have been out well there's three there's the tuned one I'll pull that one out too why not we'll take a look at the Countaches that have been released over the years and um, then also in that case uh, this is a cool one a 71 Porsche 911 very close to the first colorway of this car I think the other one was white too but it had a blue base and different wheels on it uh, but this is a new casting for 2018, so there's that. Um, a lot of red cars in this case. You got the 2015 Mustang GT and then the uh, 2017 Ford GT. Pretty cool, those two. And then uh, the Lotus Esprit S1 and the custom Ford Maverick. So we'll uh, pop both of those open, of course, in the second segment of the video. And then... Um, Shuresh also hooked me up with these. He got these in a lot of eBay stuff, and I'm not sure what he wanted out of the lot, but he picked... These are both uh, Motor, Motor World uh, Series 3 vehicles. And um, really, really cool. These two Volkswagen Samba buses that I did not have, one in yellow, one in, one in green. One of these days, I'm going to show my entire green light Volkswagen bus collection. The video is probably going to be two hours long. Um, so there's that. And then he also picked me up three M2s from the VW Series, uh, Autothentics, uh, VW Series 5. So there's a Beetle, and then there's two Volkswagen buses. So I will go ahead and open those up and share those with you open in the second half of the video. So that's going to be it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and flip her around, as usual, open up some stuff, and take a look at it up close, talk about it a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. All right, let's start by taking a real brief look at this green machine. International Durasar BF Goodrich flatbed and repairman figure. Yeah, they've released so many of these flatbeds already. It's kind of boring, but if anybody's into this green machine, let me know, and I'll work something out for it. Uh, it's from Series 12. And uh, there it is. So always excited to find a chase car no matter what it is, right? So it's always just kind of exciting to find one. So that's pretty awesome. So first, like, real green machine peg find since Toys R Us, basically, is what we'll call that. Um, next, let's take a quick look at some M2s. Here's this Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah, let's see here. I can't tell how bright we are here. 
Uh, pretty cool little casting. You know, you guys know I'm not into M2 too much. I think the bumpers stick way too far out on this casting. Um, but I think it's still pretty cool. Sometimes when I see these beetles, I definitely want to pick them up. And the buses, I definitely want to pick them up. But I should also probably stop. I have so many beetles and buses. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of more into the beetles than I am the buses. Um, and let's see here. This one does have an opening trunk part and I guess engine compartment and that opens pretty well too this is actually this one is pretty well put together um, which is not something you always get with M2 as we know and as I showed you last week with a Mustang that I that I grabbed so but pretty cool so definitely dig that go ahead and uh, put that aside here and then the two buses so pretty neat Got yellow headlights on that one. Uh, pretty cool. I love those little those rims, those mirrored rims. I think those actually look quite quite good. So definitely digging those. And uh, pretty cool little Volkswagen bus. I do like the M2 Volkswagen buses. I I think they did a good job with the tooling. Um, this one, the base sits on pretty good. Bumpers are on pretty good. Doesn't look like we have really too many flaws or anything it rolls actually not that bad so that's good too so pretty cool little piece and then um another one to add is this one right here volkswagen Verk. so there is that do these have an opening yeah they do have an opening back piece right i think they do anyway Oh, whatever, I'm not going to spend time on it because I'm probably going to break the bumper off trying to do it. But I, I think that back piece, yeah, it's got to open. So, but there it is. There's the two Volkswagens. Uh, M2 already has released a ton of both of these castings. So to go after them all would just be nuts. So I'm definitely not going to do it. Um, next up, we got the Brilliant Pearl White. No, it's not a White Lightning. White Lightnings, I think in this series, have white bases. Uh... Pearl White uh, CRX. So let's take a look at this 1990 Honda CRX. Let's go ahead and open it up. Get this little card with it. And the casting. So Johnny Lightning's doing some cool stuff. They are releasing some JDM stuff or whatever, Japanese cars. I don't know if you can call it JDM. Um, and this is one of the ones that this has been released before. The older ones of this Johnny Lightning. Uh, tend to go for ridiculous money on eBay. I don't know if this one's going to end up like that, but it probably will. Um, and again, the stance is a little off. It's like the base is not quite pushed in all the way. It would look better like about just like that, but I'm kind of bending the axle to do that. Um, so that back side of the base is just a little wonked. Um, it's perfect, I think, on this one, on this red one that I picked up. This one, the stance looks pretty good. I think the base is on very nicely. But uh, this one here, it's got that kind of like jacked up look in the back, which is definitely not appropriate for this car. Um, it is a nice pearl paint job. I might see if I can fix that. I don't know how I would exactly. I just want to like put it in a, a vise or something and see if I can push that back end in there better. It's a, it's a one rivet casting. And it looks like the other thing it's held on to is right there. Yeah, so I don't know how it could possibly be off unless just the... I, I really don't know. I really don't want, don't know why this problem exists, but I, watch it. If you're going to buy one of these, look at the pictures really closely. Try to get one uh, with a perfect stance. It's not always easy to do, so... Uh, if you can score one with a perfect stance, that's, that's awesome. But this will definitely suffice for my collection. Um, a lot happier with this one though just because of that stance I mean you can tell the difference right see that yeah you can definitely tell it's not just because one's white and one's red it's it's literally this base is not it's either the base is not pushed in all the way or it's just the way the wheels are sitting in there I'm not entirely sure what causes it but maybe I'll look into it a little bit more or report back if I find anything 
of value to tell you about that. All right, so there's those. Oh, and I forgot to open these real quick since we were looking at uh, VWs. So this is the older green light Samba bus casting. I don't think they use it all that much anymore. It was basically in the Motor World lineup. Uh, we'll open both of them. So pretty plain Jane. You got green and uh, cream color. So green top and a cream color. And then this one you got like a banana yellow and uh, white top. Uh, both look pretty cool. I mean, these, these are all right. They have metal bodies, plastic bases. They do have rubber tires. Um, just to give you a scale reference to the M2. Now, I know M2 does run big usually, but I think the M2 might be a little bit more scale appropriate when it comes to this um, style bus. I don't know. I love the VW buses. I'm not like super well versed in, uh, you know, the different versions of them and, you know, what's well, how they're supposed to exactly look. I just, I just like them, you know, so that's about it. Uh, so really cool little casting. So thanks, Shirash. These are two that I did not have. So two more to check off the massive list of Volkswagen Samba buses, panel buses, T1 buses. They have, they have like four or five, I think they have five different castings of a VW bus in green light and a bunch of different releases for each one. So go ahead, try to collect them all. Just go, I dare you, just go for it. Try to get every single release of these. And then you wanna get real nuts, try to get every single green, green machine of them. Good luck to you. All right, so there is that. And then next, let's take a look at these Mustangs. So this is the one I showed last week in this cream color. This is an Ertl. It's got an opening trunk. It's got an opening hood. Both of them open and shut quite well. Wheels look great on it, tires look great on it. We showed it last week. Just really cool. I wanna get all of the vintage American Muscle Earl lineup. Um, all of them that I can that I don't have, I'm definitely interested in. And here it is in black, just to show you kind of how they package these. Um, it's kind of a neat looking case with a mirrored uh, base. Very similar to some of the premium Johnny Lightning back in the day, the classic gold series. So there's your mirrored base. And then here's how it's packaged. Holding the things open. Are they gonna shut proper? Boom, they shut proper, that's good. And that's what I don't like about opening features. You guys know that. Uh, they don't always wanna shut and stay shut the way that they should. So here it is in black. And man, does it look nice. Same amount of detail on it as the other one. I'm not sure if these are individually numbered. They might be because I think, I mean, these are, okay, so it is limited edition. It's limited to 10,000 pieces. So there's a lot of them out there. Um, they're still kind of tough to get at a really good price. Um, these I got for a pretty good price. I bought two of them. So I saved on the whole uh, shipping thing. Um, so they were marked at $12 shipped and I, and I gave him a, a message just saying, hey, how much for two of them shipped? And he gave me just a little bit of a price break, so that was cool. Really good eBay person. Doesn't really have any other cars on their eBay thing, so. But was able to give me two of these. Um, the actual interior of this is very, very detailed. Don't have the equipment to take a real detailed look at that right now. But, um, I mean, just look at that car. It looks perfect. I mean, it just it's a great-looking Mustang. Um, just to show you the detail underneath the hood. You can kind of see in there. Let's see if I can focus a little bit better. Sorry about the shaky camera, guys, at times. I really need to get something better to hold my phone now because of I got a new phone, and uh, the old thing I used for the old phone worked a lot better on that and doesn't work real great on this, so I have to kind of get something different to kind of hold it here on the table. But anyway, this looks awesome. This looks awesome. Probably try to get this casting in every color that comes out in it because it's just a great tooling. Um, I'm sure, Travis, I'm sure you're going to agree when you get one of these in your hands and take a look at it. And I'm kind of excited to see it on your channel and kind of uh, hear your opinion of it. Um, which one do I like better? Always the one in black for sure. That's just fantastic looking. Love it. All right, so there is that. Ertl, go get yourself some Ertl on eBay. But, or I mean, don't go get yourself some Ertl on eBay because I don't need any competition trying to find them for cheap. So there's that. All right, so and then let's just take a quick look at these mainline Matchbox. We got the 2014 Mercedes-Benz G550. Jurassic World. 
These we don't have to spend a whole lot of time on, but that is a nice little casting from Matchbox. As you know, Matchbox does a very good job with their licensed vehicles, Mercedes-Benz, GLE Coupe, so another Merc. Go ahead and open up that. Take a peek. Pretty cool. I pretty much will buy every single Matchbox licensed casting. Just going to put it out there right now. I will buy every single one at least one example of every single one. Why? Because they do a great job on these cars for a dollar. There's, you just can't go wrong. You got headlights, you got tail lights. In this one, you don't really have the head or tails thing because this has kind of got the side tampo thing going on and whatever. But man, when they just do a basic car, even though to me a boring car like this, it still looks very nice. So I really like what they're doing. Uh, so there's that. Hummer. If there was anyone to pass on, I might have passed on this one, but it's still a pretty cool little casting. It's a licensed matchbox, and therefore, I, I kind of dig it. So there's that. And then uh, this one's pretty cool, too. This is the uh, Volkswagen Golf Country. I don't know if the Datsun 510 is supposed to be in this case or not. Maybe it's in the next one. Oh, I'm missing one. What happened to the truck? Oh, here it is. So here's the Golf Country. This is a cool cool casting this is a fairly new tooling i think it just came out last year um so really nice stuff um i've got a lot of vintage matchbox to show you guys eventually and i can't wait to kind of dig into that and show you guys that stuff um it's just made my love for the orange brand the little brother of mattel here um much much more lately i've just really really liked uh, matchbox so here's the Chevy step side. This one doesn't really have your tampos, uh, you know, no headlights, taillights, but still a very nice looking detailed truck. I like the color on it. I like the little tampo scheme on the side. Um, the Chevy step side is pretty cool. So definitely digging that. All right, and then uh, moving on, we got your basic Hot Wheels. What should we look at first? Before we look at um, any of the other basic Hot Wheels, let's go through the Lamborghinis. Now, if you're a watcher of my channel, frequent if you frequent my channel, you should know that I'm a big fan of the Lamborghini Countach. It is the poster car of people my age's uh, childhood. Like this, and the Ferrari Testarossa. Definitely some other ones out there, but the Countach is just an amazing looking car. And it just, you know, reminds me of being a kid and like just dreaming of, of owning a, a fast car like this. So this is the Countach pace car. Now, I love it. I definitely do. Um... I am slightly disappointed. Now, the only reason why I'm slightly disappointed, I wish they would just have released it without the pace car thing. Just a straight up new tooling of a Lamborghini Countach that looked just like this without that, I would be a bigger fan. You know, it's cool. I mean, maybe they will. I don't, I, can they retool it without the, or can they release it without this on top? I don't know, maybe. Um, I know this is part of the glass and probably the middle section is part of the interior. I'm not sure how it all fits together. I will, however, find out because I'm definitely going to end up drilling one of these apart. I'm going to hoard this casting, by the way. When I see these out in the wild, I'm just going to pick up a ton of them. And the only reason why I want to do that is because I want to be able to make customs. Eventually, hopefully, I'll get back into customizing frequently. And um, I will definitely make some customs of this casting for sure. So... It is pretty cool though. It's definitely pretty cool. I like how with these tire with these wheels on it, it's pretty low to the ground. Um, it's got that uh, good shape to it. Um, very good. So just to compare it to other Hot Wheels Countach castings, um, you've had this one. This was this one's not really much of a compare because this was the 25th anniversary Countach, so it's quite a bit different. Um, body style and stuff to the original Countach or actually to this era Countach I should said the Countach has gotten a few different uh, redesigns over the years so go ahead and look that up on Wikipedia if you want a real detailed explanation of it because I don't have it off the top of my head uh, but here's the 25th anniversary Countach by Hot Wheels pretty nice looking casting not my favorite but my favorite was the original release of it which is this one right here um, this is the treasure hunt I believe from 90, was that 96? 
Is that when this came out? KP Toys, you can tell me. You've got like five of these. Um, this car, I scored for a dollar, by the way. And it's definitely worth more than a dollar. Um, but really, really cool. So this is the Countach casting from Hot Wheels, the original one. Original Countach casting, not the original release of this car. But uh, really dig it. Really like it. This is like the version of the Countach that's probably my favorite with these kind of these wheel arches and stuff. And I just liked how this one looked. But is it the, I don't know what LP it is, but um, really, really cool. Dig it. So here it is in treasure hunt form. So there's your three castings from Hot Wheels. And then just for fun, I got some other ones out here. This is just like a little cheapo uh, made in China um, Countach casting. Just thought it was cool. So I have it in my collection of Countaches and thought I would just show it real quick. So just a little cheapo China casting. But I think it looks pretty nice for what it is. Of course, there's chips on it and stuff. But if I were to customize this thing, I could probably get it to look pretty awesome. So there is that. Um, here is a real cheapo one. This is the, uh, and the stance is just awful on this one. This is the Maisto, like fresh metal one. There's no interior in this casting. The wheels are awful. Um, the way it sits looks awful. Um, but whatever, it's a Countach, so I had to pick it up. Plus, I think these things were like 50 cents or whatever. So I had to grab that. And then we got this guy right here. This is a Tamika. Uh, I'm not sure if this came out in the pocket car lineup. I think it did. It's made in Japan. So it's definitely an old one. It's got suspension. Um, this little part in the back opens to reveal a chrome engine, and it's pretty cool little, little casting. So this is your basic Tamika, and I think this is an old vintage one. I think this is, I, I want to say this was in the pocket car lineup. Um, let's see here. The scale on it on the bottom is 161 scale, and it is an F50, so foreign market. I think, uh, I don't know. I can't tell you if this was released on a pocket car card or not in the US, but I think it was. So there's that, I got that off of eBay a long time ago, by the way, really, really cheap and was happy with it. Um, then I got this Countach right here, which this is, I think, a Tamika Limited. This is a Countach LP500S. Very, very cool. Um, this one also has a opening rear part, but I can't really get to it. They make it really hard to get to because it's that because that wing is in the way so i can't really get a fingernail under it uh, but this one's really neat too it's actually got lens detail up front for the headlights uh, it does have plastic wheels but they're two-piece wheels and they look really nice on it um, dig the color scheme and it's definitely pretty cool so there's that and then this one's just fantastic i've shown this in a recent episode too um, this is the Countach from kyosho uh, this is an LP600S. Um, I don't think this rear... No, this rear part does not open. I think they kind of put it in as like a separate piece. So you can see the, the line in there that it, it would be an opening part if it was a real car. Um, really cool, though. I really like this one. Um, fantastic looking. You got lens detail on the back. You got lens detail on the front. Oh, I should also say, you know, and this, this Tamika actually has lens detail on the rear, too. And it actually looks really good. Really, really good. So this is actually a very nice looking casting of this. Um, but this one, Kyosho. Kyosho nails it. So that is really awesome. I almost want to say, though, the taillights do look a little bit better on the Tamika. At least they're a little bit more pronounced. These might be a little more scale accurate. I don't know. But... Um, Either way, they're both awesome. So there's that. And then this is another Kyosho in orange. I think I got this from Trav. I think I got it from Heavy Metal 164. Uh, this one, you got the lens detail on the rear, lens detail on the front. Sweet orange. This is the LP500R. So that is really cool. Nice big wing on it. Looks great. This car would look awesome in black, I think. Orange, orange is pretty cool, but definitely I think it would look a little bit better in black I think it would look a lot meaner and uh I like mean looking cars so there's that and then that's it for Countach's now let's take a quick look at the Aventador Mira homage homage uh 
We don't have a super, obviously. This is just the regular, but the rest of this is going to be just mainline Hot Wheels here. I really like that they did this paint scheme on this casting. It looks fantastic. It is schemed after a real car. Um, so you can look that up if you are interested. But there is that really beautiful looking. I, I you know, I like it. Of course I like it. And then Ford GT, another casting I like. 2017 Ford GT. Getting red. Uh, real quick, the Ford Mustang. Nothing to really write home about on this one, but uh, I guess it's cool one for you Mustang lovers. It's kind of a weird, like, reverse color scheme of the um, uh, Target Red Edition. And then uh, this Porsche. You guys know I dig Porsche. This is an Urban Outlaw license one. 277. Looks pretty sweet. It's got some lens detail on the front and back. Part of the uh, windshield piece um so that's all right and then uh, let's see here lotus esprit another car i really like i really dig is the lotus esprit this is the lotus esprit s1 they've released this in a ton of colors already this black one though black with gold rims i do really like i like that color scheme looks very very nice the only one i probably like better is the original one in white so there is that one. I don't need to spend too much time on that, I don't think. You guys hopefully will be able to find these in the wild. Uh, Custom Ford Maverick in blue. This is a, already a recolor. This is a new casting. It was already out in white. And I think I like the way it looks better in white. I love that they put rear detail on this, though. That is awesome. That is really cool. Um, and then you got like, a nice basic tampo on the side. And I think that's pretty much all you need for that one, right? So looks pretty good. All right, so the last three of these are Zamax or Zamax or whoever you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Zamax. Zamax, 2018, number 11, the Corvette C7R Summit livery. This is one of those castings that I want to like it, but I just don't. And the reason being is that upturned chin in the front ugh they did that to make this thing able to be placed on a track go around a loop and just be more of a track vehicle so this really this casting is aimed more at at kids and people that you know whatever play with tracks and cars and don't really display them necessarily um at least that's my belief right i mean that's why they would do that but the upturned chin kind of bothers me there is a metal vase variant of this that does not have the metal chin that we saw in I don't remember, Forza or Gran Turismo series, one of the two. So there's that. And then we get the Indy 500 Oval in golf livery, which we've already seen in the powder blue. And then we also have seen it in a um, super treasure hunt format. And here it is in Zamac golf livery, orange base. Nice looking little uh, Indy car. So I dig when... Uh, uh, I like these little fantasy castings that are indie cars from Hot Wheels. I always thought they were pretty cool. And this one actually looks really, really nice in that uh, Zamac finish. So I like it. And then, of course, my favorite, though, of the bunch is going to be this one. This is Zamac Custom 67 Pontiac Firebird. The green flames. Looks awesome. Now, the first release of this Firebird basically was a Zamac anyway, um, and looked really, really cool, and was modeled after a real car, which is named Brendan Tusky, Tusky, yeah, anyway, a Hot Wheels designer's real car, and um, this one looks pretty awesome, though, too. I definitely like it. I'm glad they chose to use this casting as a Zamac. All right, so that's going to be it. I think we've gone on long enough. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Ertl, man. Get into some Ertl. I really wish they would bring some of these toolings back in the Racing Champions lineup. There were, I believe, two of them used so far. Pontiac GTO and a Dodge Daytona. They've released both of those toolings in the Racing Champions lineup. I really, really, on my wish list, I hope that Racing Champions, if they continue to release cars um, and they're going to reuse toolings, I really would like them to use reuse some more toolings from, from this Ertl um, lineup because they're just... 
wonderfully done. I don't know if they're expensive or what to make. Probably are because they're separate pieces. They're more of like an M2 philosophy with how they're put together. Uh, but to me, they're put together so much better and um, than an M2. So that's just my opinion. You guys are free to disagree. And then uh, the other thing that's pretty cool, of course, is we looked at some Countach's today. And uh, yeah, so pretty cool. If you want a really cool Countach, go after some Kyosho. Go after some Tamika, you know, get out of the Hot Wheels land and uh, get some premium die cast and you'll definitely uh, be excited about it. Now, nothing against Hot Wheels, of course. I mean, they're dollar cars, most of them, and they're, they're awesome for what they are for sure. All right. So thank you guys again, once again, for watching another lengthy weekly video and you guys have an excellent day and week.